Okay, so in the CCMP T-shoot lab, we've been told that routing doesn't work. Router 1, as an example, is not able to ping router 3, and router 3 is not able to ping router 1. Now on router 1, show IP protocols will show us which routing protocols are enabled on the router. We can see that BGP is running on router 1 in autonomous system number 65,000. So I'll put a note here that BGP is being used as the routing protocol on this router. Show IP interface brief will allow us to confirm the IP addresses configured on the router. We can see that this IP address is configured on gigabit 00. This IP address is configured on the loopback. Interfaces are up, up. So that looks good. Show IP BGP summary shows us again that the autonomous system number is 65,000. Local router identifier is 1.1.1.1. We can see that a neighbor relationship has been configured to 10.1.1.2, which is router 2. Over here, it's using the right IP address. We can ping that router and once again, show IP BGP summary shows us that the neighbor relationship is up. Notice the state is blank, which means it's established. Three prefixes have been received. That neighbor is also in autonomous system 65,000. Show IP BGP neighbors will show us as an example that the relationship to this neighbor is using an internal link. So in other words, IBGP and the relationship is established. So we know that this router is also in autonomous system number 65,000. We can verify that again by using show IP BGP summary on router two, autonomous system number is 65,000. Router ID is this. It has two neighbor relationships configured one to 10, one, one, two. Prefixes received is two. None are received from 10, one, one, one. So that's already a problem. We wouldn't be able to ping one, 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 one if we weren't receiving that route in the BGP routing table. So show IP route as an example, shows us that that network is not in the IP routing table show IP BGP shows us that the network is not in the BGP routing table, so that's already a problem. So just by using those show commands, we can already see that there's an issue on router one, show IP BGP on router one shows us that the router has learned about the loopback of router two, but it doesn't have this loopback in the routing table, even though that route is in the IP routing table and is up up. Show IP BGP, that route is not in the local routing table, so there could be a problem with the BGP configuration. So I'm going to look at the BGP configuration. I'm assuming at this point that the network command is not configured or it's configured incorrectly. And as we can see here, these network commands are wrong. The mask on this interface is a slash 32 show IP interface shows us that this interface is configured with a slash 24 mask, the loopback is configured with a slash 32 mask, but BGP is configured with network commands without the right masks. So that is why the route is not being advertised into BGP. So this is wrong, it should be this with the correct mask. And the same is true with network 10, that should be network 10.1.1.0 with a mask that looks like that. So show IP BGP, notice we now see this network in the BGP writing table, we see this network in the BGP routing table, both advertised by the local router. So that's a lot better. 
So back on router two, show IP BGP, we see this network in the BGP routing table. Next hop is 10.1.1.1, which is router one, show IP route. That route now shows in the IP routing table, which means we should be able to ping the loopback, and we can. So we've solved at least one problem thus far.